Hello folks, welcome to Cruiser Cars. 2018 Golf R. This isn't just gonna be a normal tire swap. We've already done videos about that, why I run all weather tires and whatnot. What we're doing is actually a modification. I mentioned in one of the last videos when I was talking about wheels and tires, something I wanted to do when I put on my Pretorias because I do love these stock wheels. Forged wheels, light wheels, they're made by BBS for Volkswagen. I really like these wheels. Also, having them in the gunmetal is somewhat unique because after 2019 to up to 22 now, they all went gloss black. So I like this color even more. But offset, right? Uh, the Golfs have uh, have a lot of tuck. So I mentioned before that uh, modification I'd like to do for my summer wheels is spacers. And I ordered a set. I was a little picky about what I was trying to find. There are many, many uh, spacer kits you can get for a Golf R when you just start Googling it. The Flush Fit Kit by like ECS Tuning or whatever, that is not the correct offset for a Pretoria on a Golf R. That Flush Fit Kit is for like a GTI with an 18 inch wheel. You want a slightly different offset kit for a Golf R with the 19 inch Pretoria. So let me tell you about why that is. It's mostly just the spacing. What I've done is I found a, a fairly good quality kit by Emanuel Designs, EMD Auto, Forged Performance Wheel Spacers. This one is a 10 mil. So we're gonna do 10 mil spacers in the front, hub centric spacers. Also do not buy any wheel spacers that do not have a hub centric ring. That is, that is danger zone. So you wanna make sure you have a nice hub centric ring so that everything stays nicely done. Also this one is a, a little bit higher quality in my opinion because it gives you things like the release grooves for prying them off. There's the specs on these. That's for the front. And a lot of the flush pit kits you'll see you had 10 front, 20 rear. Some of them had 15 front, 20. Some of them were 10, 15. Some of them were 10 and 12. This one is 10 front, 17.5 rear. This is my EMD rear. That's the 17.5 spacer. There's the specs on it. And when you order these, you get new hardware. So you get new wheel bolts for a 10 mil uh, length for the front. And I have new bolt lengths for the 17.5 spacer in the rear. So I have extra long bolts for the rear. I have longer bolts for the front. And uh, I mean, that's all we're doing. We're just putting wheels on, but the difference is we're gonna put those hub-centric spacers on and I'll show you some clips of that as we're doing it. Okay, ready to put the fronts on and uh, I just wanted to show you the, so here's the 10 mil. Siri 10... here, let me know if I can help. Shut it. Here's the 10 mil, here's the stock. So we're gonna put this on, there's no, real well there is orientation for the for the bolt pattern so you can see here that it is it does it is made for two different bolt patterns so just rotate it until your bolts line up and that's i mean that's all there is to it working on the rear now and uh this is going to be the big one the 17.5 so i'm about to put that on and i just wanted to show you the difference in the this is why you absolutely have to have longer hardware because look at the originals there's the original versus the 17.5 mil because if I was to try and use the original through that, there would be no threads left for a wheel. Uh, you can certainly do this one person, but it's, uh, you know, you gotta make sure this doesn't twist on the inside when you're trying to lift the wheel on and then get the bolt in to hold it all. It's a little fiddly, but you can certainly do it. It's working out okay, fronts are done. Uh, I just tend to hold the wheel on with my foot while I get one on and then, you know, now I can let go and it's holding. And I can do the rest. All right, things are looking good. I uh, I got the wheels and tires on. Now I'm just gonna go take it for a spin. This is kind of just uh, torque in the, the wheel bolts because I am running brand new wheel bolts with the new spacers and I do want, typically I just, you know, torque them and leave them. But in this case, I'm gonna go take it for a drive. I've already torqued them down to 80 plus. I'm gonna go for a drive, a fairly, you know, long drive, come back and then torque them again, just because new hardware and spacers, I don't necessarily trust that they won't back off on their own, but Take a look at the uh, take a look at the fitment now. So here's 10 mil on the front, and here's 17.5 mil on the rear, and it'll take a wheel a little bit for the wheel gap to come down because I just had the car lifted. That looks pretty awesome. I'll get you some beauty shots after, but uh, that's what we're looking at. Anyway, that's it.
All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you're new around here, subscribe. If you want to talk to me, leave a comment down below. As always, thanks for watching. mil on the front 17.5 on the rear